Welcome to Pediatrics and Neonatology. Today I will discuss syncope or simple fainting. Syncope is a sudden transient loss of consciousness that resolves spontaneously. The common form of syncope or simple fainting occurs in 15% of the children and it is a disorder of control of heart rate and the blood pressure by the autonomic nervous system that causes hypotension or bradycardia. It is often associated with rapid rising and postural hypotension, prolonged standing or hypovolemia. Patients exhibit vagal symptoms such as pallor, nausea or diaphoresis. Well, syncope, also known as autonomic dysfunction, can be evaluated with head-up tilt table testing. The patient is placed supine on a tilt table and then under constant heart rate and blood pressure monitoring, he is tilted to the upright position. If the symptoms develop, that can be classified as vasodepressor, that is hypotension, cardio inhibitory that is bradycardia or mixed. Now syncope is usually self-limiting lasting approximately 6 months to 2 years and can be controlled with dietary salt and volume loading to prevent the hypovolemia. But in refractory cases, medications to manipulate the autonomic nervous system have been useful. Fluorocortisone 0.1 mg per kg per day is a mineralocorticoid that causes renal salt resorption and thus increases intravascular volume. Beta blockade etinolol 0.5 to 2 mg per kg per day can inhibit the catecholamine surge and thus help prevent the rebound bradycardia and hypotension. Vagolytic agents disopyramide 2.5 mg per kg QID help control hypervagotonia. In addition, the selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors have also been effective in alleviating the symptoms. Well, syncope that occurs during exercise or stress or is associated with a positive family history is a warning sign that a serious underlying dysrhythmia may be present, calling for further investigation. Okay, thank you and subscribe to the channel.